YouTube, how the heck you doing? I am doing great. Uh, we're getting into the fall season, so it's getting a little chillier or cooler outside. But not too bad. Still 70, sometimes 80 on it some days. But it is getting into the fall time, so I'm going to start enjoying a little more of the cooler weather out there. And I've been doing some videos for you and getting them ready to uh, upload in a few days or maybe over the weekend or so. And in the meantime, I just happened to have killed my iPhone 7 in the process. Now uh, what had happened on that day, actually yesterday, I was uh, just doing my usual stuff, doing some recording on uh, videos, and I noticed my iPhone was down to like 4% or so. So I went to plug it in with my uh, usual cables and everything that I use, and uh, I tried a few different things because I've been using this third party cable here and what it has on it is the original 30 pin it's got the lightning and it also has the micro USB and then just the regular uh, USB A at the other end along with my power pack that also has a few uh, accessories and uh, options it has the uh, USB C the new one it has a quick charge USB A and then it has a regular uh, USB A size for a 2.4 amps so what I usually do is just plug it, this into that my guy there, plug it into my phone, and we're good to go. But I hadn't uh, used this too much on the iPhone 7 lately, so when I went to plug it in with the lightning port and the uh, first one of the 2.4 amps, it shows it connected, it blinked, but it wasn't showing that it was charging. So what I did at that point, I moved it over to the quick charge which has a maximum output of uh, 3 amps and I connected it to my phone and it did a little bleep again uh, the screen went black and then it was out and I just assumed uh, it's done that before as I get too low on the battery the screen will go black and then it will start charging up and come back but as I watched it and I hit the power button to get it back up so I can see the battery level as it charged uh, it didn't come back on it was uh, dead. I tried a few things with the, uh, the volume down and the power button. That's usually the softer reset for the phone. If it gets stuck, you can do a soft reset. I tried holding the power button for 10 seconds or more, and then 15 seconds, and then just a variety of options and uh, accessories there. But uh, lo and behold, uh, the phone was dead. So. Um, I'm going to have to take it up to the Apple Store. There's one close to me, fairly close. It's at Woodfield Mall, so it's not too bad to get to. And we're still under warranty on this guy, so we'll have to see what they say. I did some checking on the internet as far as uh, cables and, you know, things that you can do to damage this phone. And there was a few articles on using third-party cables and uh, not authorized Apple accessories such as this power bank. Uh, as far as charging up and it can blow out one of the uh, IC chips or chips that are in the bottom for powering it So that's a possibility. We'll have to see if that is the case with this one, but I'm gonna head on out I will catch you back when I uh, Get this all taken care of hopefully, but in the meantime since I don't have my uh, iPhone to keep me in contact. I'm just gonna throw the uh, AT&T SIM card into my one plus five so I'll have some access to uh, phone calls and everything and then uh, we'll be back and ready to go once I hit the Apple store and see what they can do for me so I will catch you back I'll take you for a little quick ride but I probably won't take you into the mall so catch you back soon. we're back and we are operational once again with the uh, iPhone here uh, it didn't take too long to get it uh, situated I was probably waiting more than they actually worked on it because uh, I set up an appointment online before I headed out so that saved me a little bit of time of waiting around but uh, I was able to get my new phone here they uh, swapped it out and what it was is uh, it was not me actually killing the power circuit although they may find that out later but what it basically was was two of the uh, prongs inside the charger part where you charge up the phone and connect it were not um, 
no longer there so they were missing and everything so they had to uh, give me a new phone that's all they could do because it was physical damage to the phone they didn't send it out or anything so I was able to switch it over really quick uh, they just gave me the same model and everything it's the unlock version and all so I was able to get one probably within 20 minutes I maybe waited another 20 minutes to get to the genius bar there the guy was very nice helped me out really quick and uh, like I said I got this rolling I do a backup to my laptop at home so I didn't have them do any kind of setup but I did check to make sure it did power on before I left the store and that was fine so once I got home I started uh, putzing around more with it and getting it ready to set up and I noticed on the Apple one and I may have forgot from previous times that it does not let you completely set up the phone unless it has a SIM card in it now I don't know if you can use a fake SIM card or not but I had to take uh, the SIM card out of the uh, OnePlus 5 from uh, AT&T and put it back into here before I continue to uh, set up the phone which I thought was kind of bad because I paid to have this unlocked it's an unlocked phone all ready to go paid in full and same with uh, OnePlus it's an unlocked phone ready to go but I was able to set this one up all the way with all my apps everything I like without ever having a SIM card in it or even activating it in that manner so uh, on the Apple one kind of a disappointment that I had to use a SIM card to get it uh, to that point where it will even set up and go through the setup so but we are working again like I said uh, two of the prongs uh, were missing he said sometimes water can get in contact with either the plug that you plug it into or even in the phone itself and as you're charging it you don't realize it but it heats up higher and it may damage those prongs and as you pull in and out of the cord uh, you may lose those prongs so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that I'm gonna check my other cords here I may or may not use this in the future still works for my iPod touch and I didn't see any rough edges on this one that it would uh, damage the prongs it's the first time I've had that ever happen with these but I've had that cable around for quite a while through quite a few phones quite a few iPod touches so I may or may not go uh, that route with the third I got some Apple cables obviously I can use them on that but like I said <clears throat> we are all uh, set up it's ready to go uh, so it was killed in a different way I thought I had charged uh, charged it in a bad way or overcharged it because in these third-party cables there is no uh, guarantee that they'll start stop charging the way they should once they get a certain amperage or voltage going through there so that I saw on the internet you had to be careful with but uh, that was not the, the problem this time so I'm back in business I'll be doing some more videos uh, they did do an update on the iOS 11 as far as uh, video recording on there they have the new uh, codec on there that it uh, minimizes the size of your file that you're recording in video and that codec the new codec does not go good with Final Cut Pro 10 uh, they haven't done an update on that yet so if you're gonna do any kind of recording on the iPhone for YouTube to go into Final Cut Pro you're gonna have to go into the camera settings under video format and select the most uh, recognizable I think it is I think is what it's called but you'll notice because it automatically defaults to the higher uh, new codec that they're using on the iPhone 11 iOS 11 so uh, you'll have that to deal with because I came across that the other day when I was doing some recording out and about I had to export it from photos and then re-import it into Final Cut Pro so that's just a little tidbit hope you have a great day and look forward to some more videos dropping I have a uh, pen unboxing coming up for a fountain pen I got uh, another magic lantern one coming up for you guys and just uh, here and there a lot of videos hopefully in the future coming on so don't forget to subscribe hit the like button down below and I'll catch you later guys have a good one